Clarify signs Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you that are cross watching, and welcome to your Tower Love messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see who wants to return to you, who wants to come back into your life, who is it that wants to reconnect with you and possibly reignite a romantic connection. Um, there is going to be a part two to this reading, guys. There's going to be an extension reading available, which is going to go into a lot more detail with regards to the messages contained in this reading. And part two of the reading is going to be made via the extension link below, which will be included in the show more section below the video. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address will also be listed just below the video here. Otherwise, guys, this reading is intended for all fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's go ahead and take a look and see who is it that wants to make a comeback into your life here. Okay, um, bottom of the deck you have the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, I feel like this is someone who has been waiting for a long time to maybe get in contact with you, um, to maybe hear back from you, or this is someone who's been waiting a long time for a reunion or a reconciliation of some sorts, okay? so. I feel like this is someone who wants to communicate with you. They want to connect with you, but it feels like they've been taking their time in doing so purely because I feel like this is someone who's been giving it a lot of thought. I feel like there is, um, or there has been a bit of a third party situation between you and this romantic energy. This is someone who may have been um, attached. Maybe this was someone who was attached to someone else. They may have been committed to someone else in a marital relationship with someone else when the two of you were romantically involved. Or maybe you were at that particular point in time committed and attached to someone else when you guys became really involved with one another. So if this is someone who has, you know, um, had someone else and they didn't choose you, I feel like this is someone who regretted not choosing you, who regretted um, and who still deeply regrets to this day the, making the decision to walk away or to cut ties from you or to not drop that third party situation, that third party act from um, for you here. This is someone who I feel like, to me, it feels like their situation feels like they're torn. They were torn in making a decision between you, who essentially was symbolic of the future and all of the excitement and the possibility that laid ahead and between the past or the current lover which was symbolic of you know the past uh, relationship and the connection that they built up together and then the memories um, and perhaps the life that they've established together and this person was always torn it feels like this particular individual was always at war with their head and their heart here 
and um, you leaving the you or the situation may have seemed like the logical or the responsible thing to do but deep down in their heart it's not what they wanted to do and they made a decision siding with their logic and I feel like it's a decision that they deeply regret to this day so this is someone who's been trying to connect with you for such a long time this is someone who I feel like has been watching you um, very closely if you find that this is someone who has recently connected with you or unblocked you on social media platforms um, it's very likely that for them this act is a way of trying to connect with you or trying to stay connected trying to stay close to you and it's also the first step in them wanting to come back to you what they're hoping for is a four of wands type of situation they're hoping for a very positive reunion where the two of you can really come back and reconcile your differences reconcile um you know your past wrongs here whatever went south between the two of you this is someone who wants to see you who wants to reconnect with you they want to reunite they want to uh, re-establish that connection that the two of you had and you've built they want to pick things up where you left off now it may not be that simple but i feel like this person is really hoping for the best here to me it feels like this person wants a second chance with you look they've made the mistakes and they realize that if they could go back in time and i feel like this is what they've been doing a lot of a lot of thinking back on things and if they could go back in time to a particular situation here they would do things differently they would do things very differently and I feel like this is someone who um, there's this strong yearning in their energy to come back to you and you feel like a sense of home to them you feel like a sense of sim um, familiarity maybe the two of you had a lot of plans and a lot of visions and you always spoke about what the future held for the both of you um, this is someone who I feel like maybe you were engaged to or you were hoping to get married to and the two of you spoke about you know um, those plans and I feel like this person really is feeling your absence in their life and since the two of you have parted and went separate ways and look it may have even been years for some of you it may not have been very recent but but for them the pain the hurt the sting the burn of all of this rejection it's still very raw it's still very um recent so you know they're not expecting perfection they're not expecting that when they do come back everything is going back to is going to go back to normal and how it was they're hoping for that but they're not expecting it um they know now they now know what it is that they had to hold on to and they regret what they let go of which was you I feel like there was something else here and we're going to explore this in the second reading. I feel like there was something else that got in the way of them making their decision because I feel like their heart wanted to stay with you. I'm also seeing that this person is delaying coming back into your life and I feel like if this person has already tried to reconnect with you then it's important for you to know that they wanted to do this a lot sooner than they already have. If you haven't heard from this particular energy just yet I feel like this person is stalling or they're delaying making their comeback okay they're delaying their communication with you they're delaying um, trying to re reach out and uh, connect with you here so it's like there's something here that's stalling them or it, it could be something external or I feel like it's something that they're doing that's purposely stalling this whole um, reconnecting and coming back into your life here and I feel like this person has truly loved you and because they've truly loved you I feel like their feelings for you haven't drifted very far even if it has been years for some of you I feel like because I do feel like there's a third party situation now a third party situation doesn't have to be a person it may have for a lot of you I do feel like it may have been a third a third party um where it was someone else there was someone else it felt like it was a little bit crowded it was you them and someone else okay so for a lot of you I feel like there was that lover's triangle but for others of you it feels like a third party could have been an opposition in the sense that because I'm picking up travel a lot here so maybe the two of you were doing long distance and you know the the notion of being so far apart from each other so far away from each other and you know that whole notion of time difference maybe that's what drove you apart um, but I feel like this is someone who wants to come back and give it another shot 
and I feel like it's almost like they're trying to convince they're going to try to convince you to do that although I don't know if it's going to take much convincing on your part here um, but I feel like this is someone who has been wishing okay they've been wishing for another chance with you they've been wishing for a reconciliation here um, they've been wishing for a chance to cross paths with you okay to reconnect with you to hear back from you um, to and I feel like this is someone who's always wanted to stay in touch but they didn't for, for whatever reason I'm also getting the message that they're very sorry here that you never got the apology that you deserved and they understand that they understand that it's going to be very hard for you to give um, this connection a second chance because they understand that you might have your walls built up so high because of this person here but they want you to know that the past doesn't define who they are right now so there's been a lot of changes in their energy. There's been a lot of healing, a lot of transformation. They do carry some emotional pain or trauma in their energy that I'm seeing. And I feel like it's that very pain and trauma that kind of had, for them, got in the way of things, right? Um, I do see a reconciliation though on the cards for you and we're going to we're going to explore that in part two of this reading so when this reconnection or reconciliation will take place what will the future of this connection be like and um, when will this person reach out and connect with you okay it feels like the past may have been a little bit ugly but I feel like the future looks really beautiful for the two of you if you do decide to give this person a second chance. So we're going to explore all of that in part two of this reading, which is going to be made by the extension link below. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to connect. Otherwise, guys, thank you so much for your time, your attention and your energy. I'm greatly appreciated. Bye for now.